We have partnered with a, an organization that has experience with steam locomotive restorations. Uh, there are young people that have done this type of work and the name of the organization is the American Heartland Railroad Society. So what is sort of the timetable for getting that done? I know it's quite a ways out, but tell us about that. Um, we have a three to five year timetable. It will all depend upon the fundraising that we're able to do. We plan on a fundraising campaign of 18 months. Um, right now the target is about $1.2 million to $1.5 million. Um, so as fast as we can ring that, raise that funding, we'll be able to do a lot of the major work on the locomotive. The floodwaters got up to about waist high inside the roundhouse here. So I pretty much put all the running gear um, underwater. So that's where we think most of the damage is from the floodwaters. Now as far, far as damage to the other exhibits here from the floodwaters, tell us a little bit about that. Well, we've lost um, a lot of electrical panels, air conditioning condensers, as well as a lot of contents that anything that was under four foot in height um, was probably lost. We even had stuff on our desk such as our digital scanning studio that we lost. Um, when the waters rushed in, it just were so big with the waves that they knocked stuff down. So we did lose some contents. We had, it's mainly structural damage that we have. The car shop's building lost its floor. Um, the water pressure was so great that it buckled the floor in numerous spots. So we have a lot of work we have to do to get back open. But you've told me that your volunteers are doing an excellent job getting things cleaned up. Tell us about that. Yeah, we've had um, community members and our own volunteers that have rallied around our project and came out. Um, we had over 400 hours of volunteer work just to sandbag. Um, if they wouldn't have done that work, I do think the, the damage would be much more worse.